Who would have thought two Isaac episodes? Can you believe it? Here we are. I'm going to run Eden again, man. I'm honestly, like, at this point, when I record Isaac, I got to do it like it's self-care. Um, I don't mean that in, like, a super negative way. There's your seed, by the way. All I mean is that it's bad for um, my desire to record Isaac when I use the randomizer and get Jacob and Esau and might not have time to record for four days to purge that taste from my mouth. Or if I re get to record within four days and then it gives me like uh, Jacob and Esau again. <laughs> That's... Let's focus on the strengths of the game as I see them. The randomness, the zaniness, the unpredictability, the fact that no two runs are the same. Eden fits that nicely, especially because I genuinely, anecdotally, but also scientifically believe that they have made it so Eden doesn't start with absolute dog water damage uh, anymore. It seems like we're usually over like three and a half damage. That's a nice place to be, man. That feels good. Hey, don't even try it. Go ahead. Push the other poops out of the tube. I'll be here to put them on my toothbrush. But, sorry, mixed metaphors? Mixed metaphors? Don't even try it. Hey, you know what? I, it's been a while since we talked about this. I've got to tell you, I, I've picked up a couple of valuable pieces of intel in my life, okay? Here's one. We talked about it on stream today. If you shave with a normal razor and you find that you always get razor burn, no matter how much you... Uh, you know, like put a moist towel on your neck before you start. Okay, sure. Um, no matter how much you moisturize or exfoliate after the fact, you always end up with razor burn. Here's a tip for you. I, I promise you, I was in the same boat as a young adult. Uh, if your lifestyle affords you the ability to do this, get an electric razor or even just a beard trimmer. Even if you gotta stay clean shaven, not that many people are gonna notice the difference between a beard trimmer with no guard and a clean shave, especially once you get to like the afternoon. But even, you know, if you could do it like once every three days, you're gonna look reasonably clean shaven, at least by modern standards. It'll clear it right up. I never found a solution for the, the razor burn and a lot of people you know, they, once you get it down into it, they're like, oh, it's very simple. You just have to use a safety razor and like, oh, don't kill yourself accidentally. And then you buy a, a, a beaver hair brush and you use like non-foaming shaving creams. And then you always let yourself sit in a steam room for 30 minutes before. Look, if you got to stay clean shaven to the extreme, then sure, I guess I recommend it. But... Otherwise, just get yourself an electric uh, beard trimmer. I, I promise you. You don't have to get one of the the three circles that are it's like a lawnmower. That one might cause you the same problems. Just get like one that you would feel comfortable using on other parts of your body as well. Not that you would use it on other parts of your body necessarily. That's between you and, you know, the germs that you got. But just so that, you know, you're like, this feels also safe to put on my face. The other piece of intel I was going to serve you with here is um, if you find yourself occasionally getting canker sores and you don't know where they came from, let me give you one potential source. And he, hey, this is where like it's going to blow the mind of like exactly one person watching right now. Hey, are you using the blue Sensodyne toothpaste? You know, the one, it's a white tube, but it's a blue um, flavor. <laughs> I don't know. What, it's got a blue... Uh, accent on the tube not green green is like fresh mint i forget blue uh yeah it turns out there's an ingredient in that toothpaste and also in some other brands of whitening toothpaste that certain percentage of people in the population just develop canker sores for i used to get canker sores when we changed toothpaste and i never knew why i you know you might think that you would put two and two together after a while but we got a lot of data points right you're eating three meals a day plus snacks, maybe you ate something, maybe it's stress, maybe you didn't sleep that well, you know, you got you got a lot of things that you're trying to examine there in order to isolate something. One day I was just like, I wonder if it's the toothpaste, I googled it, and there was like, there was dozens of us. So that was probably like an extreme waste of 
conversational bandwidth for a lot of the people watching. But for some of the people watching, legitimately, you're going to be like, holy cow, you just saved my life. And I'm very thankful for that. Maybe I didn't save your life, but, you know, improved one meager aspect of it, at least. I don't have... I think that's it. I'm done after that. Not done the video, but I'm done the... I'm out of life pro tips. That's what I want out of life pro tips. I don't want a subreddit that's like, here's how to fold a t-shirt in four seconds after 100 hours of practice. I want a subreddit that's like, you know... Brown streaks in your underwear? Stop pooping your pants, dummy. And I'd be like, ah, I never thought of that. Like a... Like, common sense... Yes. But... Common sense is, like, interesting, right? Because it it's different, culturally speaking. Like, something that might be common sense in one culture is not necessarily common sense in another. And then secondarily, for it being common, nobody possesses, like, the full breadth of common sense. I think it's a, a poorly named device, common sense. Anyway, we don't need to go that far into that because I don't know if there's that much meat on that bone, but... It fell into my hand, and I was willing to take it. Hey, I just, like, okay, I'm going off. You're, because I got to speed down. I know we got luck up, but it's a speed down. I got to say it, man. I'm going to say it. No, don't do it. You're going to regret it. I'm going to say it. You got to take some of the garbage pills out of this game, man. You're going to, I'm the zaniest dude I know that, you know, goes to bed at, like, the exact same time every single night. buy a key here but like i don't even want to take pills anymore because i would like 60 percent of them do absolutely nothing and then like more than half of them uh of the remainder i should say are just bad anyway i would i don't know if anybody cares i'm just like i'm i've got tears streaming down my face as i say this please believe me I like that, though. Look, dude, the HP is going to go through the roof. This, I might entertain the thought of a, uh, a deal with the devil on this one. Just because we have so much HP. I mean, we got to deal with the devil last time, even though we were trying to get angel deals because I forgot how to play Isaac. Just because you go into that, like, second devil deal doesn't mean you need to take something, especially if it's a question mark, because you know it's probably going to be bad. Um, excuse me, I just like to pick this up. I would like a bomb. That's okay. Watch this, watch this. Get baited, get ready to get baited. Oh my god, you're gonna get so baited here. Hey, what the heck? He's baited, 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 baited. Oh, you ran into all of my stupid little Akadama shots, dude. You must feel so Oh my god. Are you kidding me? This is outrageous. Don't- I need this deal with the devil. Don't shoot me. I need this deal. Don't whistle. Don't whistle at me. Rude. Okay, we lived. No sweat. I'm going in, man. Give me some sick damage. What a what a rude item. What a rude item after I've been nothing but kind to you. I'm out of here. <laughs> I don't like that item. Oh, man. What was I talking about? I don't know. Probably Isaac stuff. Going off on Jeeps? No, no, no. Dude, I gotta tell you, when I was... And I guess we're gonna talk a little bit about driving. When I uh, grew up and I learned how to drive... By the way, if you're maybe a little younger, or, or even if you're not younger, but you think you have to get your driver's license at some point, um, and you haven't gotten it yet, and you're nervous about it, don't be nervous. Like, try not to think about the fact that every single day we, like, normalize uh, uh, piloting, you know, 2,000-pound killing machines at upwards of 50 miles an hour. Like, don't worry about that part so much. It just takes practice. I was trying to find some Bruce Springsteen lyrics. I was gonna be like, don't try not to think about the fact that this town rips the bones from your back. It's a death trap. It's a suicide wreck. You gotta get out. Well, I don't know why I did the drunk voice for Bruce Springsteen. He seems like a... I mean, honestly, he seems pretty lean. I don't, I'm not sure if he partakes, but... Just practice. The worst part of parallel parking, I thought, when I was learning how to drive, was uh, 
the motions and learning the pattern recognition so you could like, you know, get into the, the tight spots every time. The actual worst part of parallel parking, I'm here to tell you as somebody who has to do it, I would, I, I probably went like a decade just being like, I'll never have to use it. Now I pretty much got to use it every day for daycare, which is, is totally fine, by the way. Like you just get over it. Like anything in life, you're like, I'll never be able to do this. And then you do it like twice and you're like, why was I so nervous about it? Um, the worst part is trying to figure out when the appropriate time to put your signal light on is. Because... If you throw it on too late, I'll just take a random item. That's fine. Go ahead. We can only take one, right? If we can only take one, I'm going to be sane and I'm going to take the tiers uh, upgrade, believe it or not. Hemolacry is kind of fun too, but we, we had fun last time. Now let's be boring and win. Uh, if you throw it on too late, the person behind you is not going to give you enough space in order to be able to back up because they need to hit you with a little bit of courtesy space for you to be able to back into the spot. And normally in this city and probably many cities, if not all, um, people are on your bumper literally 100% of the time because instead of blaming the 500,000 cars that are on the road for the traffic, they literally think it's just you driving like two kilometers an hour slower than them that's causing them to not get to their destination on time um so if you do it too late they're gonna have to back up and sometimes they can't back up because the person behind them is doing the same thing to them that they're doing to you where they're like this person's keeping me from seeing survivor and they're just like not giving them any space at all so that can be a problem but if you do it too early how do they know what spot you're going for you know it happens all the time. You throw it on too early, people just go, look at this old man, left his signal light on, then I throw it in reverse, and they're like, oh no! Anyway, this is just idle musings from a life lived on the road, and others such as. It's a novel I'm working on. It, it Chapter 2, why the headlights so dang bright now? When I was a kid, the headlights were a pale yellow. It called you home on the 401 after dusk. Nowadays, the headlights burn with the lumens of a thousand suns. When did this happen? I'm confused and old. They are too bright, though. Like, I think that's just... It's another thing to add to my eventual mayoral uh, candidacy. I will make uh, headlights that are too bright illegal. And the way that we punish you is we shine it in your eye we shine your you have to look like with the clockwork orange machine holding your eyes open uh at your own headlights with the high beams on from 20 feet away for 30 seconds for every month that you've been on the road with that car so it's possible you could be looking at like you know five minutes of retinal pain and then you would think twice wouldn't you then, yeah, then they'd all be sorry. I mean, then they'd all think twice. I mean, they'd all be sorry. Okay, I want a good item, please. Devil Deals give a good item challenge 2022. Open parentheses, close parentheses, impossible. Open parentheses, close parentheses. That's fine. I'm not even, like, worried about it or whatever. It's the Caves 1, man. Where's my item room? Where's my item room? I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm having a good day. It's a Thursday. February's almost over now. Because it's almost over now. Almost over. I had a, uh, had a good stream. N didn't knock any of those Mario races out of the park today. But, you know, I did win one. They were all a little messy. But I, I really feel like I'm on the cusp of a Mario breakthrough. And I mean that sincerely. Like, I am... Every every day, I'm adding one more trick to the toolbox. We haven't gotten comfortable enough with them yet that we put them all together on one single run, but we're definitely starting to knock. It's just going to take some practice. Had a good ride on the Peloton today. Any askers in the chat? And then, um, so yesterday at the grocery store, I was thinking about what to make for dinner. I was trying to expand my repertoire because I really, I've sunken into a little bit of what I would describe. It's not bad, but I've become an uncreative cook. And the reason is very understandable. I picked the baby up from daycare around 5 p.m. Uh, she goes to bed at 7-ish. 
and we get home at like 5.30. So every night when I get home, I gotta cook me and my wife and my baby dinner. Usually that means cooking two different things, unless you wanna eat like a big, you know, cranberry puree, the kind you'd buy at a baby food store. Yeah. Um, so I'll make the baby, you know, like a quesadilla or something like that. And I, well, you know, you buy shredded cheese for the baby's quesadilla and you buy tortillas for the baby's quesadilla. Maybe you buy some vegetables that would go well in a quesadilla just to make it so it's not just like strictly junk food. And then all of a sudden you're like, well, why would I make, you know, beef wellington for my wife and myself? We got all the ingredients here. You add like two chicken breasts and a couple of peppers. All of a sudden you can make fajitas. You know, if I'm making the baby some potatoes in the air fryer, why don't I pick up, a, you know, a steak? And then all of a sudden we've got like, you know, steak and steak fries for dinner. So I've been making a lot of essentially like spin-offs of the baby food. Um, so yesterday I was like, maybe we can mix it up a little bit, man. So I thought I would love to make like some kimchi bokumbap, which is like a Korean fried rice. Very simple. We always have kimchi in the house. You just got to... I mean, it's basically just cooked rice, sauteed kimchi, and then you can add some meats and some vegetables of your choice. That's always the beauty with fried rice. I wouldn't worry so much about the authenticity um, as long as you got, you know, I, I, I mean, I would make it with gochujang for sure instead of, I mean, I'm going off. I apologize, but it, all, it just always annoys me. When people get like overly anal about the authenticity of stuff that like when I ate it in Korea was served in like a styrofoam cup. <laughs> They'll be like, I've never been there, but this is how they do it in Korea. And I'm like, I was in Korea. Nobody. If you ask someone in Korea, can you put carrots in your kimchi bokumbap? They would be like, sure, if you got them. Okay. Kate and I, we, we talk about it. We go through the same thing. Like if you ever tell... Like, uh, I mean, maybe this is a coastal elite sort of thing. But if you ever tell somebody here that you are, like, making something with kimchi, they're like, oh, how did you make the kimchi? And then you're like, oh, I just bought it at, like, H Mart or something. They look down on you. They go, I have a great recipe for, like, homemade kimchi. You can make it in your fridge in, like, an hour, which means it's not real. Um, I'm like, I... As a result of my wife being Korean and her family being very involved in, like, the Korean community, I, uh, I am also somewhat involved with the Korean community. None of them are making their own kimchi, man. They're all buying it from H Mart. Are you crazy? That takes a, a lot of time to make authentic kimchi. You gotta bury a clay pot in your yard for an entire season. And then you, I mean, the rate at which you eat kimchi, if you eat, a, if you eat it for, like, you know, once a day or, or even twice a day, You'd be, you'd have to buy a bigger house. Let's just put it that way. Anyway, long story short. So I, I'm just saying I wouldn't worry about the authenticity that much, but I would definitely worry about the authenticity of the sauce specifically. You're going to want gochujang. Don't be making a kimchi bokumbap with like, you know, sriracha. It's not the same. Now, if you do, if you can call it kimchi bokumbap, that doesn't bother me. But the gochujang is the real authenticity. I wouldn't stress about whether you got the wrong kind of onion for it. But anyway, I was going to make a... Uh, I was going to add some pork belly, but then I realized after I bought the pork belly, I've never really cooked with a side of pork before. So I looked up how to do it. And then uh, every recipe I saw was like, leave it out to dry in the fridge overnight. Almost as if it was like an arts and crafts thing. And I was like, okay. So instead we had vegetarian kimchi bokumbap. And now I got this beautiful, beautiful pork belly just sitting in the... The oven, low roasting right now, ready to get up to that high roast a little bit later, get it nice and crackling. And what am I going to do with, uh, about the rest of the meal? I don't know. Maybe I'll serve it on a tortilla with the rest of these fajita ingredients. Maybe I'll put it inside of a quesadilla. I don't know. Uh, you know what? We can always look on the bright side. Maybe it'll just turn out like total garbage. And then I'll just go to uh, McDonald's. <laughs> Why are we playing this? I guess we can still use money. That's true. We have too much HP. This is where I'm, I'm... I can't believe we're still here, but... Give me a good Devil Deal 2022 Challenge Impossible. It's literally never been done before. Okay, thanks for the money. I didn't even go to the shop. What am I doing? We gotta walk all the way back. I gotta say... Fried rice, honestly, one of the goaded recipes 
you can't make fried rice for free. That's an insane opinion. But you can probably cook fried rice right now in your house without spending any money. I'm not talking about like stealing Starbucks Wi-Fi to look up a recipe, okay? I'm just saying, like yesterday I was like, I could buy groceries, but then I thought about what we had in our in our house. And I was like, we definitely got rice, we definitely got kimchi, miscellaneous vegetables that I keep in uh, Tupperware. You know, when I need half an onion, just keep that other half of the onion. I was like, this is perfect. It felt like a free meal, which is not correct, but... In some ways it is, because it saved me from spending money that it turns out in hindsight I didn't need to spend. It, honest, give me a good item, 2022 challenge, impossible, okay? I'm starting to flip my lid. You're turning me toxic. Are you happy? You better not be greed in here. I, if my lid weren't flipped, you piece, I was glancing at nothing. <laughs> If this gives me greed, I'm gonna... You th might think my lid has been flipped. I'm gonna flip the whole freaking bottle over now. I'll be a TikTok celebrity. You don't even get me started, man. Come on. I know there's good items in this game. Mom's knife is not a myth! I have seen it! You know what that is? That's the cable guy? <laughs> Starring Jim Carrey? <laughs> Dry lay well, it, technically it's Waterworld, I guess, because he's quoting Waterworld. You had to be there, I guess. We know, is this, are you not tears up? Nope, range up, okay. Dry land is not a myth. I have seen it. Hey, do you remember that from the cable guy? It's near the end. I think. Anyway, um, good, good item, 2022 challenge, still ongoing. Looking forward. I don't even try it, mister. I gotta say as well, cooking is so easy. There's a couple of things, and, and we've been down this road before, so I apologize. There's a couple of things that, um, you know, typically, especially, I mean, this pre-COVID, I guess, but if you were going to go live in the dorms in college, there's a couple of things you might be apprehensive about if you're like a little, you know, I was going to say a little kid, but what I meant is like an 18-year-old, <laughs> and you've lived at home your whole life. Um, one of them is always doing the laundry. I'm here to tell you, doing the laundry is actually the easiest chore on planet Earth. Unless you are watching this video uh, from like the 1800s, where I imagine it was a real pain in the you-know-what to have to, like, constantly, uh, you know, scrub every piece of clothing on a washing board, and then, you know, uh, people would just randomly walk by and, like, try to join in on the spoons, and like, somebody would start blowing on a jug, and, be, and so a bell banjo would pop up. You know, that that's a problem. Um... But if you have a washing... I mean, it's annoying to do it if you have to travel to another place to do your laundry. Like, if you have to travel to a laundromat. That makes it annoying. But it's less like... It's not that you don't know how to do your laundry. It's just that you're like, I'm a little lazy and I don't want to, like, spend two hours outside of the laundromat looking for, like, I don't know, like a good sushi restaurant or something like that while my clothes are washing. Or, or sitting on one of those chairs. I've done it before. When when I first moved to Vancouver, we didn't have available laundry equipment. You know, you just integrate it into part of your routine. But it's actually, if you have like laundry machines in your dormitory, it's so easy. Literally just load up all of your clothes. <laughs> it might be different if you have nice clothing that you wear regularly. But like, I'm here to tell you, you could, I, in my experience, and I've been doing my own laundry for a long time. I'm not taking sumptorium. You insult me. Um, I've been doing my own laundry for a long time. If you are, if your wardrobe is like mine, and you wear, you know, cotton t-shirts and jeans predominantly, you can pretty much just throw everything in the same laundry load. You can use the same detergent and then just wash it on cold or like not hot. I know you, we've all seen the Simpsons episode where Bart throws his hat in with Homer's shirt and then Homer's shirt turns pink. It can happen. It's more likely to happen 
if you're watching on if you're watching on hot, okay? So you might need to go down to cool. That's and that's it. Apart apart from that, it's just a machine. Like if you can drive, you can easily do your laundry. There's no excuse. Cooking is very similar. Like when people say they're bad at cooking, it's like that's a temporary problem. I don't actually believe you can be bad at cooking by the standards of like a home chef. Cause like what what is there to be bad at? Like at some point it's just it's willful incompetence. You learn how to like chop things and then you put them in like you cook them according to the steps of the recipe. Don't leave them in for, you know, 10 minutes longer than you're supposed to. Don't take them out too early. And then if it tastes bad, don't ever make it again. How, how to be a good home chef 101, in my opinion. You piece. Like, why? I guess I have the coupon for Devil Deals. That's true. Although I, I'd like to lose some of my HP so I could get a Spirit Heart. And then I'd be more likely to get Devil Deals. Oh, the coupon. Fantastic. Thank you. I appreciate it. Good, good item. 2022 challenge, by the way. Impossible. They got me thinking I should get RoboBaby 2.0. It just takes a little practice. When I went to university, and this might not be your experience on either end, but when I went to university, I didn't even know how to cook a can of soup. I had to, I had to call my mom and ask her how you make soup from a can. It, it's a food that has the instructions on the can. <laughs> you literally open it up with a can opener and then, you know, put it in a pot and put the pot on the stove to almost any heat and then wait till it's hot. You're only, the only way you could screw it up really is by like, I left it on low for so long. It took me three hours till my soup was hot enough. But anyway, or you could even put it in the microwave for like, a, not in the can, but in a bowl for like a couple minutes. And I, by the time I left a couple, well, I guess a few years later, I was, you know, no devil deal, huh? That's fine. I was cutting the spines out of uh, whole chickens, laying them flat, injecting an herb butter under the skin, and high roasting them at the hottest temperature that uh, the oven in my crappy little student house would actually get to. You know, it's just, it's easy. It puts you in a nice position. Like, I never... And this is basically like I'm talking about Apollo. I never roast Apollo... Uh, like, I mean, I don't roast him as a human being for ordering so much DoorDash, okay? But I like being in the position I'm in. Which is that I still order some DoorDash or some Uber Eats. But it's only to satisfy, like, a specific craving. I don't need to rely on the DoorDash Uber Eats business model to survive. Because I don't know if it's... I think this is, like, normal, but sometimes in the streamer world, being normal makes you a freak! <laughs> but if you hear, like, other streamers talk sometimes, they'll say, like, insane stuff, man. I don't know, I just... I don't think I could ever get to a place in my life where I feel, like, good about a $10 Chipotle burrito bowl costing, like, $21 by the time it got to my house. At least on a regular basis. Like, if you want pizza, you can make pizza at home, but that's something where I'm like, they've really perfected the pizza business model. Like, I can, it, it actually takes me longer if I'm starting with like just a ball of dough, which a lot of, a lot of grocery stores do now. If I'm just starting with a ball of dough, it probably takes me longer to make and cook a pizza and have it ready to consume than it takes a pizzeria to get a pizza to my door with whatever I want on it. So that's one where I'm like, I'll go in for that. But just for like something, just for food to live, it, it's really useful to be able to whip something up. I, I, I guess this episode is just full of quote unquote life pro tips. Like, pasta is insanely easy to cook. If you like pasta, you should never feel like you have to order it from DoorDash. Maybe from a nice place as a treat, although I don't know how well it delivers. But, like, it's literally just boiling water plus noodles. And if you get the stuff in the... I mean, it's, like, it's more perishable, but if you get the stuff that's in the fridge section, if, if you've always had dried pasta and you're like, this doesn't appeal to me that much, 
maybe splurge a little bit, get some of the linguine from the fridge section. It takes less time to cook for one because it's fresh, but also it's fresh. It tastes, it's delicious. You can always just cheat like uh, everybody else, myself included, and just make um, binging with babishes, alio aolio recipe. I know, you're like, what? I thought that was only my go-to move. Nah, man, everybody's into that. It's, it's delicious, it's garlicky, it's buttery, it's very refreshing. Anyway, what was I talking about? I <laughs> can't remember. I've already done a chore tier list, so I'm not going to necessarily go too far down that road. But some, not all chores are created equal with respect to difficulty. Like, wa laundry is so easy. The only thing that is annoying about it is folding your laundry afterwards, which... You know, you just put on a TV show or something. And then the other part, if you ask anybody what, like, the worst part of doing laundry is, get ready to hear uh, people putting their clothes in the washer and then leaving and not coming back by the time the washer is done so that you are now in the position of being like, am I going to pull this person's clothes out of the washer or am I going to give them, like, a half hour or am I going to give them an hour, which is way too much, I think. That's, like, the worst part of doing laundry, man, is other people. Which is true for a lot of chores. Even the dishes. I don't think when I do the dishes, and I'm not actually upset, mostly because we stay on top of them, also we have a dishwasher. But people always think that having a dishwasher means doing the dishes is, like, so much easier. It is easier, but only, like... Son of a... Only, like... 80%. <laughs> you still gotta rinse the stuff. And you still gotta um, hand wash a lot of stuff anyway, because not all of it can go in the dishwasher. I'm not putting my cast iron in the dishwasher. Are you crazy? Also, I'm not cooking anything unless it's on my cast iron. So, you know, you can see the conundrum there. This run, when did it get good? Oh, when we got Sacred Heart <laughs> and I stopped saying... Get a good item 2021 challenge. Tech point five of Sacred Heart is also very helpful. Thank you so much. But like when you do the dishes, I mean the worst time I've ever had with dishes was when I lived in university, of course. I lived in a seven person house and none of us, including the most responsible, because we were at that age, were in the habit of washing our dishes as soon as we created them. So instead we would just create seven young adults worth of dishes uh, every day. And then eventually the sink would like pile up and we'd be like, who's going to bite the bullet on this one? And then someone would miserably do like, you know, an hour and a half to two hours worth of dishes. And then we would have like a house meeting about how like we can't let this happen ever again. And then we would be really good about it for like a week and a half. And then, you know, we would have a party or something like that, and then it would all just go to crap again. <laughs> that was the worst. But you're never like, oh, the pan I use to cook a chicken breast. You're always like, oh, freaking. I was going to say Bill, but Bill's not really a contemporary name. Let's just use it then. It's perfect. Freaking Bill always making a, he's always making scrambled eggs, cooking them too hot, burning the eggs to the pan, and then leaving the freaking pan to soak in the sink. And then we're like, Bill, what are you doing with your eggs? And then he's like, they're soaking. They've been soaking for two days. Hold on, you have to attack it from this angle. That's the worst, man. The worst part of all chores is other people. Don't even get me started on driving. Do you know how sick driving would be if I was the only car on the road and all of the existing infrastructure that exists to handle so many drivers was instead, like, just available to only me? It would actually... I, I Driving would definitely no longer be a chore. It would be, like, some of the most fun you could ever have. It would be like taking a bike ride minus the exercise part. But other people, myself included, <laughs> make it a nightmare sometimes. Because you're like, wow, this is exhilarating, but also kind of scary. Because at any moment, I could just run into somebody who's having a bad day and is like, I'm going to hit you with my car because I'm mad at, you know, my kid or something like that. that. That's not me. I would never. 
I did say that one time I had a dark passenger, like in my head, that was like, I, I went to the cat groomers and I dropped off the cats and I said, I think I talked about this, I'm not sure if it was in an Isaac episode, but I, uh, I said, when should I be back? And she said, four. And I said, oh, really? Usually it's like six. And she was like, nah, I should be good at four today. So I drove back at 4.40 because I still didn't believe her. And then when I got there, she was like, sorry, they're not ready yet. Can you come back at six? When I was driving back home, knowing that I was going to have to drive back there in like an hour and a half, somebody cut me off in traffic. And just for a microsecond, my brain was like, what if you didn't hit the brakes? <laughs> what if instead, you know, they messed around and now it's time for them to find out. And then I said, no, that's not worth it. I'm not going to, like, you know, get a permanent neck injury just because this person is bad at everything. That's not worth it. But for... It was less than a single measurable moment of time but your brain is really your brain can transmit a complex idea to itself in less time than it takes to explain it obviously like you can have an idea in a flash it's kind of crazy i don't even know how to explain it that's how crazy it is an idea can pop into your head fully formed I entertained the thought, but for the briefest of impulses, and then said, nah, I'll hit the brakes. And that's probably the angriest I've ever been while driving. <laughs> I don't know, it's close. There was one time we were driving, and literally, like, uh, somebody that was merging onto the highway just tried to merge directly into the side of us. So I sped up super fast and uh, gave her the space to merge in behind us. And then we looked and she was literally just like, had to be at least in her 90s. And I was just like, you know what? Good for her. <laughs> I, I didn't say good for her. I had some much more colorful language, but I'll, I'll leave it at that for her. I'm not saying that she's bad at driving because she's old. I'm just saying that maybe she was like, you know, not as observant as she was at earlier points of her life. Perhaps I'm just throwing that out there. She did try to kill me, or at least scratch my car up a little bit. Scratch my car up! Anyway, look at that. Two Isaacs, two wins. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I'm just a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!